Hey, what's up guys? It's Twice, and today I have a very special video for you. This is going to be one of the first of many uh, card analyses that I'm going to do. So basically what these are is I'm going to look at a particular card today. It's going to be Perfect Razor, and we're going to basically go over its strategies, what it does, uh, some of the support that you can include with it, and really just get a good idea of how unique certain cards and certain clans can be and you know what kind of unique decks you can build around them so like i said today is perfect razor i'm going to tell you right now this is the strongest vanguard that you can have that's right he's stronger than alfred he's stronger than uh, anything he's stronger than any other vanguard because his limit of power is so much higher than is everyone else's so let's basically go over this so i've just got a couple of my razors kind of centered around him here um you know in their spaces or whatever so here's what perfect razor does perfect razor when he is placed onto the vanguard circle first of all you call every razor that's in your rear guard circle into the soul okay and Perfect Razor himself gains plus 3,000 power for each Razor in the Soul, and during your turn, if there are four or more Razors in the Soul, then he gains plus one critical, okay? So, if there is a minimum, if there's a minimum of four Razors in your Soul, then during your turn, Razor, Perfect Razor will have an additional, let's see, plus 12,000 on top of his already 11,000, so that's 23,000 power during your turn, and plus one critical. So this guy is amazing. But remember that this can be used more than once, all right? So let me explain. Now, I don't have four of each kind of razor, and I know that there are more razors. In fact, there's a couple razors that we don't quite have yet. Uh, for the triggers, there is battle razor, minimum razor, and turbo razor, which we do have. And then for the grade ones, there is Burst Razor, Jet Razor, and Razor Custom. We don't have Jet Razor because he's a promo, but I think uh, I might be looking into getting one uh, whenever I can. And then for grade twos, there is Gatling Razor, High Powered Razor Custom, and then Trans Razor. Now, none of these cards are particularly powerful. Basically, I would say the best among them is probably High Powered Razor Custom, because his skill is when he's boosted by Battle Razor here, he gets an additional plus 8,000 power, and he's already at 8,000 power. So he himself is going to have um, 16,000, but Battle Razor's skill adds an additional plus 3,000 on top of the 3,000 that it boosts for. So it boosts for 6 with his um, 16, so you can tell right there that's 22,000. So there you go. The Razors aren't particularly special. It's all really centered around him. So the more Razors you have in the deck, the better. Because the other problem with Perfect Razor is that if you have a non-Razor, like in any of your rear guards or your vanguard, he gets minus 2,000 power. So he really is a card that's meant for particularly just the vanguard. You just want him on the vanguard. And we don't have another grade 3 Razor, so it's him and I would say the Break Ride. Uh, either Ethics Buster or Mond Blob Kluger. So anyway... Here is why he is the absolute strongest possible vanguard, okay? Like I mentioned, you can have four of him in the, de in the deck, and you can have four of each razor, all right? So, theoretically, it is possible to do this, where initially you have two razors in the soul, a grade one and a grade two. Then, let's say you're able to fill up every rear guard circle, and then you ride perfect razor, Okay? So immediately you have two razors in the soul, and then with his skill you pull all five in, and you have seven in the soul. All right, seven times three is twenty-one, so twenty-one thousand on top of his eleven thousand. That's thirty-two thousand that he has by himself. And because you have more than four razors in the soul, he gains plus one critical. Okay, but you can have again four perfect razors. So let's say you fill up all of your rear guards again, and then you ride another one. So this razor is now going to be in the soul, along with the other five that you had on the rear guard. So that means that there's going to be uh, six more razors that go into the soul, okay? On top of the seven that you had, so you're going to have 13 razors now, okay? So 13 razors, 
Uh, we're not going to do the calculations until the end, but let's do it again, okay? You fill up all the regard circles again, and then you ride a, a third perfect razor. So that's six more razors that are going to go into the soul, including, of course, your vanguard. So six plus 13, that's going to be, of course, 19. So then we have 19 razors in the soul. And let's say you do it one more time, a fourth time. Okay, you could even break ride. You could ride a grade three and then break ride perfect razor. So immediately your vanguard gets uh, plus 10,000 power when you ride him. And you're going to pull uh, five more razors into the soul. So another six razors are in the soul. Okay, so six, so that's going to be 25 razors. 25 razors. If you're able to fill up every single rear guard, okay, five times, or um, four times, and you're able to ride perfect razor every single time, then you're able to get 25 razors into the soul. Your deck is like freaking dark irregulars at that point. But anyway, so 25 razors in the soul, and you broke, and, and you break ride uh, perfect razor. So it doesn't really matter what kind of razors you have. But make sure that you are able to put a burst razor behind uh, perfect razor, because here's why: perfect razor or burst razor is a 7k booster and counter blast one, and he gets plus 1,000 power. So if you counter blast five, he becomes a 12k booster, and that's the absolute maximum power. Okay, so perfect razor is now going to have 25 times three is 75,000 power on top of his 11,000, so that's 86. With the 10,000 power that he gets from the break ride, that's 96,000. And since you have another razor behind him, he's not going to lose to, uh, 2,000 power, okay? 96,000 power. And then you're going to boost him for 12. You're going to boost him for 12,000, okay? That is 108,000 power power. Think about it. 108,000 power. It is theoretically possible because as I've set up right here, you can fill up these rear guards four times because you can have four of each kind of these cards. And there are two additional razors right there. Plus, like I said, there's also Gatling Razor and there's Jet Razor, which we don't quite have yet. So you can get those cards as well. This is why Perfect Razor is the strongest Vanguard. Now, of course, he's not going to be at, um, he's not going to be at 108,000 power for more than just that turn. That is the only turn where he is going to be at that massive amount of power, because you're you're going to have used up all the counterblasts here, and your break ride isn't going to be active next turn. So he's going to get unfortunately minus 15,000 power, but oh my God, 93,000 power critical too consistently consistently there's really no other way of putting it again this is all theoretical but if it's theoretical it is possible it is freaking possible to get this to get this hundred and eight thousand mark this is why perfect razor is the strongest vanguard so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, again this is one of the first of many card analyses and i hope you guys really enjoyed it so have a great day and keep card fighting, and we'll see you next time.